On this episode of the Globe Sports Quarter, the Globe Sports Crew gets an inside look at athletics training and how it keeps Goshen College athletes safe. And also speaks with new head coach of the men's volleyball team and how she's adjusted as a female coach of a male team. All that and more is on the way on the Globe Sports Quarter. Sam, and this is the Globe Sports Corner. We hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's and that everyone is staying safe as the new year gets underway. We're excited to bring you even more Globe Sports coverage as we turn the calendar into 2022. Athletic training has always played a crucial role in keeping athletes safe. From tapings to muscle therapy, Goshen College's associate head athletic trainer Emily Osborne has been ensuring athlete safety for several years. Despite the importance of her role, often training goes under the radar. I had the chance to sit down with Osborne and bring to light the crucial aspects of her work that keep athletes on their feet. As an often forgotten piece in the world of sports, athletic training plays a huge role in keeping athletes safe. Just some of the equipment to help keep these athletes safe includes tubs and tables like these. Seems like an important piece of the puzzle, right? Well, to some, athletic training is still an undervalued project. So, um, athletic trainers, we are healthcare professionals that work with preventing training, managing um, injuries. Um, we also have administrative duties related to documentation, um, communicating with doctor's offices and other healthcare providers that we might work with. Despite the obvious importance of Osborne's profession, athletic training is nonetheless overlooked. Um, what people don't see is obviously the day-to-day -day working with every single athlete that comes through the doors, if that be a treatment, if that be an evaluation, if that be a taping, um, and then uh, if in the game, if somebody gets hurt, immediately tr uh, evaluating, determining if they can go back in or if we need immediate medical care. Osborne works with all athletes at Goshen College and can offer a wide variety of procedures and techniques in order to help athletes prepare for practice or game time. So pre-games, um, some of the things we might use are like our e-stem e machines and ultrasound machines where you provide elect uh, a neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Um, can be used to kind of help work out knots. It can be used to help warm up the tissue. It can be used to um, manage pain in the short term to make it, things feel better for the game. And then tapings, um, various kinds of tapings that we can do to help protect a joint um, that has been injured or protect, prevent an injury from happening um, or to make the injury manageable for when they are participating. Despite the hectic and always evolving athletic schedule, Osborne says that she wouldn't trade her profession for anything, as her impact as a trainer goes beyond just the physical, as some players also see her as a counselor. So the next time you see an athlete around campus who's taped up or getting treatment, think about all the great work that GC athletic trainers provide. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Dante Stanton. I could not overstate enough how compelling it was to learn about all that athletic trainers do here at Goshen College. Their work truly keeps athletes safe. It's really fantastic to see. When we return, we'll speak with Goshen College fifth-year senior Michael Wall, who recently became the very first player in Goshen College men's volleyball history to record 2,000 career assists. We'll talk Wall's record-breaking play and more when we return to the Globe Sports Club. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Joining us today is Goshen College fifth year senior Michael Wall as setter for the Leafs men's volleyball team. Michael, welcome to the show today. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. That's awesome. Uh, so recently, you passed the 2000 career assists mark here at Goshen College. You're the first player in program history to do that. You've been with this team for a long time. What does it mean to you to reach this milestone? Well, it's, it's really big for me, honestly, especially coming in as not having set before. Um, it's, it's a huge milestone to reach. So. I'm, I'm really proud of myself for making it, but also my team for helping me get there. So with this milestone out of the way, what are some more personal goals for the rest of the season? Well, personally, my goal this year is to reach 3,000 career assists. So I constantly have that reminder around me at all times, and I'm working every day to reach that goal. So that's like a personal goal for myself, but in general for the team, I think just to have a successful season and a winning season is like the main goal. 
So you currently lead the team with 210 assists. You've also got eight kills as well. How do you balance being the main assist guy as well as your role in the offense? So I definitely think it's important for a setter to have an offensive, be an offensive player as well. I think it keeps the defense of the other team on their toes. It keeps the blockers on their toes. And it allows the, our hitters to have more options. So me being an offensive setter when I am front row allows their block to take one second. And that one second of them being late to our hitters um, opens things up for them and makes it easier for them. So, so you've mentioned before that you weren't actually a setter before you came here to Goshen College. Uh, how did you fill into that role so quickly and kind of evolve into it and become the lead setter? So for me personally, I feel like being setter, um, you need a lot of volleyball IQ to do that. And so that's something that you attain by um, watching a lot of film and outside of the court. So I spent a lot of time learning not only the basics, but the volleyball IQ behind setting, um, but then spending just a lot of time in the gym getting as many touches and as many reps as I could to be the best that I can be for my team. So you're currently playing in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference, a little bit different than the Crossroads League. There's a lot of tough competition there. What are some of the predictions that you have for this team going down the stretch? Well, ideally, we'd like to be successful. That's the main goal. Um, we do have a really hard conference. There's a couple ranked teams in the nation in our conference. So it's going to be a challenge. Um, our coach constantly reminds us that every game is going to be a dogfight. Um, this season, there's, there's no easy wins. There's no easy games. We have to go out in every game and give it our all. So, I mean, our team is, we have great team chemistry and we have the talent to do it. So, I mean, going out there and just giving it all every single game is the goal. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Michael. Best of luck to you and the team going forward. Thank you. When we return, we'll stick with the men's volleyball team, but move the focus to first-year head coach Lauren Ford, who's just the second female coach of a male team in Goshen College history. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. I came to Goshen thinking that I'd just be acting, but over the course of my four years, I've taken part in all the other facets of the theater, and I think that's helped me gain a wider appreciation for theater as a whole. I mean, it takes all those things that I'm interested in, like the design aspects of theater, the environmental studies course I took, and it takes my music major, and it just focuses it all into theater. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. This week, our very own Seth Smith Kaufman and Tyson Miller had the chance to sit down with the new head coach of the men's volleyball team, Lauren Ford, and learn her story and how she's adjusting as a new head coach. Even though the men's volleyball team here at Goshen College is still quite a young program, this team is being led by a senior class that's been here since the beginning. A new addition to their team, however, is their brand new head coach, Lauren Ford, who joins the team to become the, only the second women's coach of a men's team here at Goshen College. Um, I wanted to coach uh, on the men's side for a while now. I was very intrigued by it. Uh, the game is quite different in just the physicality. Um, I really like that. I was a very physical player, so I loved that part of their game. So it's a pretty uh, easy transition for me. Despite last season's abrupt shift in coaching staff, this GC men's team has adjusted well, and many players believe that Ford has greatly improved how the team functions. I think her uh, on the sidelines definitely gets us fired up. She has a way of uh, getting us hyped up, but she has also a way of telling us in game what we're doing wrong so we can make adjustments as we go. Along with pushing her team to new heights, Ford hopes to open a path for future women coaches at Goshen College. Um, it's important because I know that there are a lot of female uh, coaches that came before me because right now in the world we see a lot of female figures stepping into leadership roles and so I'm glad that it's, it's kind of a movement now, but I feel like it's, it started a while ago. We just didn't put attention on it. Um, I think it's time to just embrace the change that, you know, anybody in a leadership role can be successful. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Seth Smith Kaufman. It's great to see Coach Ford adjusting well with the new team. After the timeout, we'll turn to the Maple Leaf Athletic schedule for the upcoming week and introduce something new to the segment. That's coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner. just graduated from Ocean College. What experiences prepared you for this job?
Where do I begin? Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's take a look now at your Maple Leaf athletic schedule for the coming week. There's doubleheader basketball action tonight at home between the Maple Leafs and the Taylor Trojans. The women's game tips off at 6 with the men's game to follow at 8. It should be noted that the women's team upset Taylor University earlier on this year and got their first win over the Trojans since 2015. Men's and women's indoor track will be at the Bill Klinger Classic in Allendale, Michigan this Friday at 2 o'clock. The Leafs have already got a high jumper who's qualified for nationals as they look to add another at Grand Valley State University. More doubleheader road games on the way this Saturday for men's and women's basketball as the Leafs hit the road to take on the Spring Arbor University Michigan Cougars. The women's game begins at 1 o'clock and the men will follow at 3. Finally, to wrap up Saturday's slate of games, men's volleyball gets back at with, with home game against Siena Heights University. That game begins at 3 o'clock. And finally, we'd like to end this Maple Leaf schedule update with something new. The Maple Leaf highlight of the week. This highlight comes from the men's basketball team's 63-62 upset win over the Huntington Foresters last week. The club was fortunate enough to be on the call as Michael Johnson pushed the Leafs past Huntington in the final seconds with Tyson Miller and Alyssa McDonald calling the action. The Forrester is not sending anyone in to rebound on the lane. As Peyton West puts the first one up, it is no good. And the rebound goes to the Maple Leafs, controlled by Greg Johnson. He brings it back the other way. 21 seconds, the Maple Leafs trail by one. Greg Johnson sets the offense. The shot clock is off. 15 seconds, they're holding for the final shot. The coach is yelling to go. Johnson down on the left side. He finds a Michael Johnson underneath. Michael Johnson, the layup is up and good. 5.9 seconds left. The timeout is called by the Foresters. The Maple Leafs take the lead, 63 to 62, with 5.9 seconds left in the game. Quite the exciting finish there for our athletes. That's going to wrap up our first Globe Sports Corner of 2022. We hope that you stick around with us throughout this year and beyond. And make sure you don't miss a single beat at the Globe by following our social media at 911 The Globe on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, head over to GlobeRadio.org for more exclusive content. This has been the Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Don Facebook.